Well, good evening, greetings, and salutations. This is Passionate Bliss, and I'm here again tonight with questions, comments, useless facts about me. But first, go to my YouTube channel, Passionate Bliss. Comment, like, subscribe, share, and I will talk to you over there. I love talking to you over there. My full video will always be over there, and eventually, I'm only going to be over there. So please go and subscribe. I'm rolling out my Black Love t-shirt line, and I'm going to have the t-shirts on display, and so I won't be able to show up on Instagram and Facebook anymore, but I will always be on YouTube. So join us over there, okay? And go to my store, mypassionatebliss.myshopify.com, and get your Black Love t-shirt, hoodie, sweatshirt, or t-shirt, whatever you like. We got the first edition out, the Black Love. It's ready for you, okay? And other winter gear, you can get a whole outfit over there. But my questions for today are these. Last week, I did a two-part series, What Is It Black Women Want From Black Men? So this week, I'm going to do a two-part series, What Is It Black Men Want From Black Women? And I had to do research because I'm not a black man. Um, and so uh, I went mainly with an Essence article that I found. And the questions I came away with from that article were these. Has dating black women gone out of style? Why is it black men aren't approaching black women the way they used to? And number three, are black women really intimidating to black men now? Okay, and so I wanted to go through these points. It was uh, seven of them that I found that I came away with, and this is what they said. I'm going to do two parts because I try not to take more than five minutes of your time. Your time is precious, and I'm thankful for every minute of it, and so I'll be brief. Um, number one, they said that we are not fun. We believe that. They said when we're out in public, we look like we don't want to be bothered, and so they don't approach us often. Number three, they said that we don't support them, and we're not uplifting in their early careers and in college. Number four, they said that we are more inhibited sexually. Number five, they said we want it all and we're not settling. Number six, they said they feel like our friendliness is desperation. And number uh, seven, they said that um, black women are focused on marriage from the start. And uh, they're intimidated by that, okay? And so we'll go through these. We'll probably get through either three or four, um, depending on how time goes for us. And I'll finish up the rest tomorrow, okay? Okay, they said we're not fun. Number one, they said that uh, we seem so busy getting educated, so busy working, so busy paying our bills, so busy, you know, um, taking care of our home, cooking and cleaning, that for us, smiling has become second nature, and they said that clowning around and teasing has become, you know, an afterthought. And that nurturing a man has become a chore on their list of things to do. Um, and it's not at the top. <laughs> so they said that we are not fun. And they have said that other races, by comparison, approach love in a more um, fun, carefree, go-with-the-flow type way. They said that we are not fun girls. And that the other races present themselves as fun girls when it comes to dating and relationships and so that's why a lot of black men have stopped asking us out because they said that we're not fun okay is that true you're not fun <laughs> i have to think i'm highly fun but um yeah i do have things to do yeah you know but i will say it depends on your age because when i was in my 20s i was on a quest for fun it was just me nobody but me every weekend i was on a quest i had to have some plans and something to do and some fun but you know as things go by you know you you do have to adjust and realistically that they should be expecting that and should also be doing the same thing but apparently i said we're not fun okay uh number two it says it looks like we don't want to be bothered when we're out you know and i will admit that sometimes if you're you know you got a strict time limit. You got to get all these chores done. You're going from one place to the next. You're looking forward. You're focused. You're not really looking around to see who's looking at you or to see who's making eye contact with you or trying to get your eye contact with you. So um, I will admit to that to a certain extent. But, you know, unless I'm, you know, really uh, push for time, I do uh, look around and I have to be aware of my surroundings because people are actually disappearing. They are harvesting organs for real and selling people into the sex trade for real and so um i do have to be aware of my surroundings so usually i'm looking around to see who's looking at me for that reason but you know sometimes we can be very focused and so they say that's a lot of reason you know a lot of the time the reason we may not get approached because we look too focused um number three they said that we don't support them or aren't as uplifting as other races 
when they're in college or early on in their careers because, you know, they don't have that financial ability to take us out and date us and um, wine and dine us. And, you know, they said that other races are more understanding and more condoning of that. Is that true, ladies? Is that true? Uh, personally, when I was in college, I was focused on my grades. I wasn't looking to be dating, really. <laughs> and I actually found people trying to date me a nuisance because I, I knew I should have been studying. And so that's how I was. So I, I don't know why they're in college, you know, looking for it. But early in your career, you know, I would expect a little support. You know, maybe you don't have all that kind of bank like that. <laughs> so, but um, I'm, I feel like I would be supporting, understanding of what somebody's, you know, capable of, depending on, you know, how much you desire their company. You'll be more tolerant, I think. Um, let's see. Um, they said that black women feel like that he should already ar have arrived where he's supposed to be before he comes to approach her, he said. So they said that we're not as uh, understanding as other races are. Okay, number four. They said that we are more inhibited sexually. They said that they would like for us to be more flexible and spontaneous and go with the flow um, sexually and that they don't feel comfortable acting out their wildest fantasies and... Um, with black women without them being judged okay so i don't know uh they can let becky have that because they're never gonna find me hanging upside down asphyxiated with my hands tied behind my back and a blindfold in leather bikinis because he's got some wild fantasy that he's trying to explore yeah becky can have that she can have that i don't know if he want to pour hot wax on you or what but for the most part you know um times have changed and women are very accommodating and so i don't know what they're trying to do when you lock you up in a box or something um, that they want to do that we're not participating in. But, um, yeah, they can they can go ahead on with that. I don't know what all they're trying to do. You save that for Becky. Let little Rachel and them do that. <laughs> so y'all might be right on that. I don't know how buck you trying to get it. <laughs> but if you're doing something right, you ain't got to be doing all that now. But um, I don't know about that, fellas. So that one y'all might have me on that one okay and so i'll just save the others for tomorrow um the one that says we want it all we want it all right now that our friendliness is desperation and that we're on the marriage hunt from the gate okay so we'll talk about that tomorrow all right and I'm, if i'm wrong fellas and tell me i'm wrong if i'm right ladies tell me i'm right let me know because i'm just trying to do the research for us i'm trying to do everybody a solid i'm doing the ladies a solid tonight okay so y'all have sweet dreams wait to find them all real and i'll see y'all tomorrow on part two